Hey guys, Keegan with Keegan Builds. Uh, just here to make a new video. I know it's been a minute. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, got something pretty cool. It's a new version of the diesel heater. Um, we had the two kilowatt. Now we've got the five kilowatt. Let's go and hop into it. right uh, right out of the gate obviously this is a bigger unit so again these were the two kilowatts versions that I originally designed and, and kind of set up and then I've gone ahead and scaled it out to the five kilowatt version which is the bigger Apache case is so obviously you know a, a lot more heat that this can output but this is you know probably something that's maybe not for every use case. So this was really great for setup in my old Land Rover. It's also really great in my clamshell rooftop tent, smaller tents, really something good for two, three people. Perfect setup, I love this thing. This is gonna be for much bigger tents, small yurt, things of the sort. But it's a little bit more of a simple build and similar to my, you know, my last video, I'll link everything down below for you all to check out. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up so we can take a peek on the inside. Now, if you remember on the original heater build, I had inside this DC to DC step down converter. And the purpose for this was that I could utilize any kind of voltage that was coming in. I have a bigger lithium pack that was 36 volts, another one. Uh, which was 24 and then also just your standard 12 volt setups. So I wanted something that no matter what my voltage was, I could plug it in and it would be good to go. What I learned over the past, you know, couple of years in using this is that, you know, I really didn't need that kind of flexibility built within the case. I much, you know, I would much rather have the voltage changing kind of outside the case. Um, and just leave it to be a much simpler design. So on the new version, you'll notice that I don't have the step-down converter. One other thing that you will notice that is new on these builds, or at least different from the original video, is I added some venting down on the bottom sides of the case. Purpose for that is twofold. One is just as this fan is pushing air in, it gives it a way for excess air that's in the case to kind of go out and have it exit near the exhaust so it would draw any ex excess heat uh, with it. And then the second reason was if there was ever some sort of fuel leak within the case, having this down on the bottom would allow any fuel to drain out instead of building up in the case where it could be near any electronics. So yeah, that's kind of the, the main reasons for this. Other changes you'll notice is um, I started utilizing a different output tube. This one was actually just a couple of vents kind of butted up to each other. But what I eventually moved to was the 60 millimeter kind of tubes that you can get to connect to 60 mil pipes. It's actually just going in and then out, it's connected. And then I've got the shroud on the outside, which helps clean up the hole and make things look nice. Coming over to the newer version, you'll also notice that I've got the thermostat controls inside the case. And the main reason for that is I found that I preferred this to be on the Hertz mode uh, versus thermostat mode. So instead of choosing the temperature and having it rise to that temperature and try to hold me there, I preferred that I just choose the fuel rate and allow the heater to stay at a nice constant uh, hum, same speed. And I can actually control that with the wireless remote uh, from inside my tent. So pretty simple setup. And again, a lot less things kind of moving around. This particular case only has two wires going in, positive and negative. So much more of a, of a simple design here uh, for this particular version. Outside of that, most of the components are similar. The intake silencer mount here, same exact size as on the two kilowatt, 
fuel pump mount, same exact size as on the two kilowatt. And then for the kind of this adapter that helps kind of bridge this, this and the exterior intake are both sized up for the bigger models. And then this intake or area here, we had to redesign that to actually fit the fan. So I can actually show you what that component looks like. So again, similar parts just sized up for the two versions when it comes to these. And also these, you'll notice obviously much larger sized. But on the inside of the case is where things get interesting. So the connection point, so where the fan would mount, previously fan bolted up directly here. This would slide on here and, and then go to the actual heater unit. On the bigger version, you'll notice it's much beefier. Fan actually sits inside of the uh, wheel shroud here. And then obviously this mounts to go to the heater unit and then sandwiched by the exterior int intake. One other change that we made on the new design is the uh, plug that we're utilizing. Whereas before we're using the speak on connectors, we're now using, at least on this particular build, a waterproof plug, which is these. Now, the cool thing about these is I've actually got, this is just a two pin for power, but if I wanted to wire up the new design similarly to the old, I've actually got some special five pin uh, plugs and these are awesome. Again, they're totally waterproof, which was something that was a little bit different on the old one. It's more of a water resistance. I, I wouldn't necessarily trust it in a, a heavy downpour. These are waterproof and the connections are just absolutely solid. Like when you plug it in, it just really clicks in and you, and you feel the quality in these. So I'm really stoked about these. And again, they just kind of sit right in there, which I think looks so clean. So that's uh, just a really cool looking plug. So those are some of the big changes to the two designs. And then on the exterior, something that if you are watching this and have seen my old video, something that I changed kind of after making the video was I added a leg to the case, which is here on the bottom. Also, this thing has, <laughs> has been through hell and back. It's never let me down. So I have used the hell out of this thing. And um, I mean, we're going on, what, almost two and a half years. I've used it uh, in some absolute downpours of snow, like foot, two feet of snow at Crystal Mountain up here in the Northwest. And the thing has just kept me toasty every single time. Uh, I've been really excited about that. So on the updated version, you'll notice I am using the fuel tank that ships with these kits, which is one less thing to buy. So I've mounted it in a way that helps sit flush on the ground. So the case is a lot more stable. And so overall is just a really clean look. Final thing I will show on the new build is the output uh, on these ones. So these bigger five kilowatt diesel heater units, I mean, they put out a ton of heat. So in an effort to mitigate any melting issues uh, or potential safety hazards, I went with a um, three inch aluminum output. I'll link this down below, but this is I believe a mass airflow mount for a vehicle. You know, I mean, you find yourself just Googling stuff online that's just like three inch output tube and just scrolling and see what fits. So yeah, that is the new five kilowatt diesel heater in a box. You guys have all obviously seen the two kilowatt version. So I appreciate all of you that subscribed to the channel back when I made that video. Here's a new video. Again, thank you all for sticking around for new content. There's been a lot, obviously, that's gone on. So that being said, 
Um, this is my promise to make more consistent content for you all. Um, starting with that, we've got this video coming up real soon. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a big lithium iron phosphate battery pack that I'm working on. Uh, that'll be a new video that's coming out. I've also built a rooftop tent, DIY rooftop tent out of scratch uh, for the top of the Land Rover. So we have that video coming out. I did a camp kitchen in the back of the Rover, pull out drawers, it's got stove, refrigerator, there's solar on the top of the rooftop tent. So there's a ton built into that project, um, as well as a few other things around the shop that I think you guys will all be excited for. So if you guys are uh, interested in any of the components on uh, the build, so any of the 3D designed and printed pieces that, um, that I created, I will have that on my Etsy store. So we've got both kits now available. We've got two kilowatt for the smaller unit, and we've got the five kilowatt components, both available in the Etsy store linked below. The uh, files for uh, the old style are still in the old video and any of the other components will be in the Amazon links down below. Um, and I am part of the Amazon affiliates program. So I do get a small kickback from Amazon anytime you guys use my links. So appreciate any of that. I think that's it. So again, thank you all for sticking around. If you haven't, please subscribe and we got some cool stuff coming up. Thanks.